come back a little bit. Oh yeah. What? It's so short. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This one's going to be a little bit more chill. Weather's nice today but it's starting to get a little bit cold here in Denmark. Uh, winter's definitely on its way. As you can probably tell from the title of the video, we're going to talk a little bit about a recap of my season and uh, why I don't want to play any more tournaments this year. I'm not going to have any goal out here today, I'm just going to be chilling, hitting some cool shots, doing some fun things. Because for some reason I do need to treat myself to one of those rounds like every month or so I need to come back to. Oh wait, this golf is mainly for fun because I get too serious about it. Oh, well, doesn't matter if you don't give any... Uh oh, it's rolling. Oh, that's a nice putt. Sick parsley. Oh, not that one. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, never mind. Both of them then. Okay, I'm good at putting. Wait, what? Something has grown up like under the tee pad here, I feel. This little bump hasn't ever hasn't always been here. Kind of weird. Oh well. It's always easy if you just hit the gap with the spy. Watch this. Yeah. It's just so easy. I'm in the circle every time. But let's just get right into what matters, you know. Basically, some of you guys have been asking me why I'm not playing this weekend the Danish Pro Tour kind of thing, you know, the Danish Tour. Came to my hometown, I was entered in the tournaments, and I dropped out of them simply because I am completely burned out on tournaments. I just don't want to play any more tournaments right now. And I thought I would never say that because, you know, I love disc golf and I love competing. I'm the most competitive person you will probably ever meet other than Ricky Wysocki, if you will ever meet him, and Paul Macbeth and all the good players, you know. But... Part of being competitive is also, it just hurts a little extra when you're bad. And this season has just been so, so up and down for me and mainly down, honestly. See, if I could just play like this every time, huh? Oops. I just recently had my third last place finish tournament this year. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. Three times this season, I've finished absolute bottom, last place, entered in, like, in MPO at tournaments that I thought I was probably going to have a chance at winning in. And I'm like, that's just not fun. Like, just coming out there, like, my game is just so inconsistent. Some days I can come out to the course and I can feel like the best player ever and I'll never miss. And I'll shoot, like, five down. And then... Literally next day, I'll come out. I've changed nothing, or at least it feels that way. And I'll shoot like eight over par, and I have no clue why. It's just, it's just, it's just gotten to me. Oh, okay. Wow, there's no way that's part. Well, not part, but you know, in the circle, literally missed on the right side of that light pole. Oh no. But the thing is, it's not even just like my game in general, it's literally every part of my game, like my forehand, backhand putting, it is completely 50-50. Either it's the best it's ever been, or it's completely garbage worse than when I started. And it's like, <laughs> what do you do? So in skew recently, the hardest course in Denmark, most tightly wooded, my game just decided to all collapse at the same time, so I could rather, I couldn't Hut, I couldn't backhand and I could, couldn't forehand. And it's like, what do you rely on? If nothing works, there isn't that one thing that you're like, okay, well, whatever, I'll just only throw backhands then and just chip through the woods. No, because nothing was working. And it is just so frustrating to keep chucking at the same tree every, over and over again, you know? Oh, wind from the right. And I actually ended up even getting like truly angry with myself and with my game and everything. Just like to a point where I couldn't quite control my anger and I was affecting the people on my card and that's just not acceptable. All right, these guys are kind of let me play through here. Just trying not to hit them. Oh no, it's a little early. Get through it. All right, it's fine. Go in. Oh, a little short. 
to par. Let's see if we can hit a nice satisfying straight shot with the putter here. Oh no. Not very satisfying to slam it into a tree, is it? Oh yeah. No! It was perfect. I got to the point where it just needs to be lucky and it wasn't lucky. Is this a forehand or a backhand? It's definitely a... Wait. No, it's definitely a forehand, yeah? Oh, it's inside. Oh, that's lucky. Alright. Take a 12 meter putt. But no, to conclude that entire thing that I was talking about there. I am completely burned out on playing tournaments for the year. I might play like one or two more tournaments, like for fun. Uh, but other than that, I'm not gonna be too serious about it. But that does not mean that I'm done with disc golf or this channel or anything like that. I still completely and absolutely love disc golf. Love playing around with my friends, love playing around just by myself, enjoying nature. I even love playing around like practicing and we're just generally practicing disc golf and trying to become good in the entire grind of things. I just don't like the results, that's the thing. Go! Oh, a little short. Most importantly, I still absolutely love making videos and creating content in uh, that entire th side of the things. So I'm gonna keep doing that. Although, only once a week. Come on, get up. Is that getting up? Uh, I think it's a little bit too slow coming up and over. So it could go down left again. I have been going down left a little bit lately on that roller. But I feel like the roller is a good play though. Because it never kicks to either side when it hits one of the first trees. It usually just gets redirected a little bit and then keeps rolling. And more often than not, I'm within 12 meters, which I should make. Or at least have a chance of making. And you never hit this tree that everyone struggles getting under. It is a low ceiling hole. Oh. I don't know. Anyone else going roller on hole six? Even in his short position? I mean, you definitely should, because I'm actually parked. <laughs> I've been so bad at this hole lately. It's time for that to stop, because this is my signature hole. That's good. Just go in the hole. Oh. Oh, it faded. What? Okay. It's parked. It's parked. It's whatever. Oh, we have a straddler, huh? Not my speciality. But I can do it. I can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Another birdie. Getting so many birdies. Pop up a little more. Okay, it popped up nice. Wow. It's a lot of power on that one. What? What happened? What went wrong? I felt a little bit of a headwind just as I was running up and I was throwing a launch to US and I was like, I give a little bit of high but then it disappeared again. It's in the perfect position to go up and over, so hopefully I can control that. By the way, just met some of you guys out here. And I absolutely love it when you guys come and tell me that you're enjoying my videos. Because, you know, it just it just validates literally everything that I'm doing and it just makes everything more fun. So thank you so much for coming up to me and saying hello out here. You know, I can see I can see uh, viewer numbers on YouTube and everything and see how much you guys watch them and you guys like, like the video and whatever. Which is nice. If you're enjoying the video, please like it. But uh, getting actual faces to the numbers means so much more. So thank you. Really appreciate it. All right, see if we can get over those trees. I'm starting to think I've just misunderstood this shot. Because I feel like I'm, shoot I'm, I'm putting it where I'm aiming it every time. And it's carrying over the trees, but then it crashes down and it always hits the very first tree that it can and just drops down to the right. And I'm like 50 meters right of the basket every time. Am I supposed to go more of a stable and go more left or something? Might have to fiddle around with that a little bit. Because I definitely haven't been getting the birdies on this hole even though I'm executing the first shot. Yeah, this one's like way too right. How am I still like 17 meters? I thought it's really perfect. Alright, little nose-up spinner right at the chains. 
I know you want to see this. Come back. Oh, need a little height still. Nice line though. I guess that's the danger of running it so hard. This one got a little long, but let's just hit the comebacker and it doesn't matter. It's a bogey, huh? Nice bogey, bro. Should have been a birdie. The weather forecast did say potential rain, and I did just get a couple of drops of rain, so weather seems a little bit inconsistent and indecisive, so I don't know if I'm going to be playing a full round, but we'll see. We'll see if weather allows. A little spy flip up through the gap here. No, it's not the way for me. Got to release something flat here if I want to forehand it. That uphill heist or forehand is just not me. <laughs> right on the tree. It's inside the circle though, I think. Such a short hole you can shank two shots and still be in the circle. Okay, just outside the circle. That may be even better. So you can jump it in there. Oh yeah. Nice little jump, but I've been loving the escape on this hole lately because I can release it on a slight heiser out there on the left side. It'll kind of turn in there by itself. But this is really just my heiser flip to straight disc currently. Just like that. Don't need that tree. That's so perfect. Flew so beautiful. Another reason why it actually makes sense for me to not play as many tournaments for the rest of the year is because I simply don't have the time, honestly. I'm really in a time crunch lately. Just started studying marketing or like marketing and economics kind of mixture of those, which is really interesting and cool, but also obviously very time consuming. I was expecting to be able to do it in like 20 hours a week or something like that. Um, but here in the beginning, it's definitely been more than that. And also I'm actually really interested in some of the subjects. So I'm like, I, I want to spend more, more time on it. And the plan is, I have said this before, but the plan is to use it for the disc golf world. And I want to do some marketing in, in this niche. So don't worry, you will, you'll get something from it. Just have patience, it's only two years. Two years where we'll only be able to upload two times, or once a week, probably. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll be more, I don't know, maybe less. I don't really know anything yet. That's what it's going to be for now. Go. Ah, uh, a little more onion. It's good. Another par. Still figuring out what to do on this hole. Because no matter what I do, it just doesn't work. Let's do the felon again. Put it up higher. Out there. Slight heister. But not much heister. That's just short though. It is so short. I need something that overstable, but a little bit faster. Let me try with my Launcher OS, but the thing is that thing just glides more. It doesn't have that no glide effect. Put it a little wider. Comes in right there. Okay, that's good. Might be going Launcher OS from now on, but the thing is, if there is wind from the right, which is the reason why I don't want to just throw a putter, is because there's wind from the right quite often. If there's wind from the right, that disc will actually carry and not just drop down. So then I can't throw it like the felon. I don't know. How can I not play the easiest hole in Denmark? Like... Oh no, that's, that, <laughs> that's a layup. Well, it's hard to convince yourself to run a putt in a headwind with OB like six meters behind it. Okay, okay, here's the deal guys, here's the deal. I'll make a deal with you guys. I'll throw the launcher OS from now on until I miss the island. And then we'll switch discs again. That's how we're gonna figure out what we're gonna play with. Okay, we have a pretty severe tailwind here today. At least when it gets out in the open. So I have one mission, get this thing nose down. I did. Oh, that's pretty high up the hill. And pretty effortlessly. Wait, is it just really OP to throw nose down in like tailwinds? Is that a thing? That felt really good. I didn't throw too much power into that and it wasn't high enough, but it kept going. That's new for me. 
I am right behind the tree though, so I don't even know how to give this a bid. But it is one of the holes that I'm missing on my birdie card, so you best believe I'm giving it a bit. I think it might be the berg. My little forehand around here. What? So low, what? Yeah, that's a par. Par is good on that hole, is the thing. But doesn't help me out with the birdie card. I'm missing two holes, and one of them is 2A, which is a long position on hole two. And like, I can't do anything about that every other month. If anyone out there is wondering how to play hole 13 on the other ball course, just think of it as hole seven. It's just a straight shot with a putter, but you gotta get under the leaves out there, or under the big tree. <laughs> That's your ceiling limit. And it should be right on the pin. Under the branches, yes. His part. There is that trunk in the middle of the tree, you know. You can go either side of it. I was aiming left, it went a little right of it. But it's so small, like you hit it so rarely. Just get your angle right, get it under the leaves, and more often than not, you're right under it, honestly. I mean, what can I say? Let the picture speak. It's right under it. I was gonna just chuck a little backhand straight shot down there, but there's a lot of wind, so I think we'll go for a little low forehand. <sighs> Let's play for the first landing zone. Right there. And sit. Don't take a big skip. Nice. It's perfect. Right, this is actually like a really nice position here, but still a very tough shot down there. I'm gonna go with my straight launcher here. Throw it on a baby Anheuser out there at the trees on the right. Let it flex in there. Hopefully just follow the hill a little bit. And end up by the basket. Oh no, Heiser. Why did I throw it Heiser? Oh, that's deep. <laughs> that's real deep. Oh, oh, good luck getting out of there. It seems like an unlikely par save at this point. At least roll out. <laughs> Oh wow, I went for a very small gap because I have a very small brain. Uh, a little more in the air would have been nice, but I think I'm in the circle, so I just hit the put. Okay, it's pretty close actually. That was fine. Oh yeah, putting feels nice actually. That was a pretty tough bogey to take after that perfect drive, but uh, that's what happens on 14. Now we get a freebie birdie with the roller. Just land it right there on the right side of the fairway. Yep, come over. Don't hit anything in there. Okay, went a little bit deep. Should have put it on slightly more angle to begin with, but it's like 10, 12 meters, I think. Okay, this is by no means a free birdie at this point. <laughs> I have nothing here. Maybe lefty could fade in there. <sighs> Let's try lefty here. I think that's a play. Because there's no way my Anheuser Putt doesn't just spit out on the left side. Get a little nose up spinner, maybe. Oh, that is such a good bid. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's a little short, I think. Because it didn't skip. But it was a nice angle and everything. Just out there on the right side. Should be like circle's edge maybe. I feel, it feels so weird waving out my distance driver on this hole every time. While everyone else is just throwing mid-ranges and getting closer to the basket than me. But hey man, I'm averaging under par. And it used to be my nemesis hole. This is the only thing that's working is for some reason throwing a flat shot with a distance driver at like 60% power. Can't explain it, but it works. Gotta take your home course advantage after once in a while. It's based off of experience. And I'm gonna drain this putt and seal it. Just show that it's a birdie play. Like what else do you wanna see? What else do you wanna see? In hole 17, I played pretty unconventional as well. Or at least played different than everybody else. Pretty stiff tailwind today, so I really gotta get some angle on it, but I'm going roller. 
because I've gotten better at getting the roller down on a lot of angle early, so <laughs> that's the plan. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Now curl up. Okay, it kind of got pushed down the hill a little bit there, or like, looked kind of weird. I'm not sure why that happened, because it's a tailwind. It shouldn't push it down left. Almost like there was a wind up from the right side there, but perfect angle, perfect, like, speed, position, everything. I think I'm probably, like, right on the, the path, but pretty far up there. Man, couldn't have just have gotten up on the flat spot a little bit here, so I didn't have to run uphill. Nose down, or try to get a nose down, because it's a tailwind uphill. No sound anhyzer up there. I think it's the only way that I'm like 100% sure to get past the hazard. And it's kind of a high risk shot. Or like, it's kind of a difficult shot. So I either execute it or absolutely don't execute it and it doesn't even get to the hazard, maybe. Maybe that's bad logic, but we're gonna try. Yeah, see, I shanked it. You got past the hazard and it's just out there on the right side. A little forehand chip in, easy par. Intentional shanks. That's what you do, man. That's what you do. Yep. Right under it. Hole 18 here. I've made the mistake on hole on uh, first shot to throw into the bushes too often, so changed my play to just go up the up on, over the little hill on the left side to make the first shot easier. Yep. Little skip. Yeah, that's pretty much prime position. <laughs> that is so nose up, but uh, hey, it's up the hill. It's probably fine. Very likely a par, because it's gonna be a hard to get it all the way into the gap from there. Needed some Einheiser on it, that was not a good shot. Okay, we could actually go for it here, maybe. Well, that was just a little bit short. But now that was just a perfect layup instead. Just like on hole 17. Got a plane for the shanks, you know. Perfect shank. Didn't execute my plan, but the mistake made it a perfect layup. And now we can actually even run it over the hazard, I think. I think it's like 17 meters or so. Just don't hit that branch right over it. Over the hazard. <laughs> ah. I went too safe. Really didn't want to hit that branch up top. It's a layup for par, I guess. All right, we have a fairly stiff headwind here today. So I'm gonna go flex shot with my big skip spy. Let's put it out over that little bench on some Anheuser. Let the wind drag it and just hopefully helicopter a little bit on there, over the basket. I mean, a little bit short. Oh, that's not short. That's deep. Please sit. Please see it, please see it, please see it. Okay, it's here. It's like 15 meters away. Might be able to jump it up there, but it's also a tailwind, so it's pretty far. Let's give it a bit. Oh, there's no way. It looked perfect the entire way. But the tailwind never dropped it. Really fortunate to not start rolling though, but hey, that was a really good putt. Could have gone in. The new hole 20 is absolutely garbage to film. Like it's impossible to film anything. You can't even see from the tee where you want to go or you know where you want to go, but you can't see where the disc kind of lands. But it's just a little baby flex with a overstable spy here. A little bit short right or short left, sorry. Did scoot a little bit. So we have like 11, 12 meters here. Perfect for my little jumper today. What? I mean, that was a little bit right, but that shot the disc out faster than it got in. What in the world? That was a definite make. Oh well. That's a par. Thanks so much for watching this video. It actually ended up going pretty well with the, the playing and everything, which is kind of funny because this video is supposed to be about how I'm really bad nowadays. But this just proves my point, doesn't it? I never know how good I'm gonna play. It's like rolling a die, pretty much. Today I rolled a five, solid five. I think I shot like a couple under par. It was fun, beautiful weather. 
Thank you for listening to my jabberish. Go enjoy some disc golf just for the fun of it. That's my advice for you today. Like the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, put a comment if you have, especially if you have any like video ideas. I do have a couple of fun ones coming, but definitely always down to take some. And that, see you in the next one.